storm that is battering part of the East Coast with blizzard conditions and Okay, so last month I held a design contest and we had over a thousand registrations in less than a week, which was a lot more than anticipated. But yeah, it turned out to be a lot of fun and it was amazing to see so many unique perspectives and designs. I'll put a link to that problem statement down below in case you want to check that out. But just to summarize it for you, the client was a local vegan food truck based in Singapore who had raised investment to expand into other countries as well. So the goal was to design a brand that would help bring this local authentic food to the world. You also had to come up with the name for the brand before designing it. The third place was won by Lauren who designed Plenty. I really liked the typography and color palette but what I loved the most was the research. It was interesting to go through all the documented questions and understand the thought process behind it. At second place we have Sophie's design Hello Vigo, an amalgamation of vegan and go with the tagline say hello to tasty and accessible vegan food. The colors were really simple and on point and it really helped in making the brand look just the perfect amount of sophisticated. She describes the illustration as inviting and friendly which also fit perfectly with the design brief. I absolutely love everything about this logo from fonts to colors to how well it has been integrated in the flyer design. That brings me to the first place at Sliced designed by Kavya. This was really the one that stood out and had the most unique approach. It was simple, casual, playful and very true to the name. I loved how she tackled the problem of vegan being boring through a design and made it more approachable and appealing. She explains that the food truck business is all about laid back conversation and fun experiences and this is perfectly represented in the designs. So these were the entries I thought were perfect. There were a couple of more designs among the finalists whose concepts I really liked and with the help of little tweaks I feel it could really stand out. So today I'm going to try and redesign a few of them. Okay, coming back to the entries. The first design I want to look at is by A. Julius. By the way, I don't want to butcher your name, so I'm just gonna mention your full names in the description below. So yeah, I love the name Glaze and also the typography you've used. I think it works really well for a vegan brand. However, I'm not very fond of the yellow and green combination you've used in the logo. It kind of reminds me of Sprite. So yeah, the first thing I would want to do is keep it all green. You have presented your logo in black and white as well, and judging by that, I think a single color would look better. I also like how you have attached the leaf to the tail of C and used that shape as a part of your visual design but the space below E looks a bit congested. I think it would be better if the tail itself extended to form the letter E, something like this maybe. Let's see how these changes look in comparison to the original design. variations here and my idea was to put more emphasis on the word glaze and use the design to convey its vegan nature. I think that simplifies the brand identity a lot more and makes it more unique. Next I'm gonna download some mockups from Invato Elements to present the design. And also thanks to them for sponsoring this video. It has so many amazing mockups that I use on a regular basis for my design projects. It's a huge library of over 55 million plus digital assets. In fact, most of the text animations and transitions I use in my videos are also from here. And since it offers a very simple license, I never have to worry about getting into any copyright issues even if I'm using it for any commercial work. So if you're interested, you can click the link in my bio to get 50% off your annual subscription and get access to all of these assets for less than $20 a month. It didn't feel like thunder 
Next up we have Vegan Pure designed by Alexandra. I love the spaghetti look you have going on here and also the typography you have used. It gives it a very playful look. The only issue I had was with the color contrast and the palette in general. It looked good on a white background and also paired well with orange and black as secondary colors but the green and orange together weren't looking right, especially on this mock-up here. So I'll just fix that and let's see how it turns out. into the mark and I felt it tied the logo a bit better with the typography. And by the way, feel free to leave your thoughts in the comments below. Finally, we have a submission whose idea I really liked but I felt it could have been executed a bit better. This is a design by Tushar and I like the fact that he's used a Merlion statue which is a very iconic symbol for Singapore. And as the brief mentions that it's a Singapore based food truck, using this symbol helps in giving a bit of authentic feel to the brand. So the Merlion statue has a head of a lion and a body of a fish. And you have tried to integrate leaves to show that the brand is plant based. However, I don't think the design is very recognizable and it's not conveying the message very clearly. I want to try a bit of a different approach to this.